what is it's your girl Maddie and welcome back to my channel today's video is a dupe video now this video I have already filmed before but it was at the beginning of my channel when I was recording on a cell phone that had no service <laughs> it was connected to the Wi-Fi so I would send the videos that I would film on the phone to YouTube download them on the computer from YouTube edit them and then re-upload them to YouTube really complicated but that's just what I had to do to get videos up when I first started but now considering I have light I have an HD camera 1080p I decided to refilm this video for you guys so that you guys can actually see the way that these products look on the face and just so that it'll be a better viewing experience and I want more people to know about this dupe because it is one of my all-time favorites so yeah let's just get started with the video these are the two products that are going to be battling against each other to see if they are actually a dupe. When it comes to these dupes, I'm always saving my more expensive product, which is the Benefit Professional Primer. I use the dupe more, so I definitely wanted to update this video about this dupe. I love this product. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it, but I also really love the other product. I have applied brows, shadow, and lashes, and that's it. The rest of my face is bare, so now I'm gonna bring you guys in for a second. We're gonna take a close-up look at my pores. So sorry about it, but it's for it's for the video, girl. This is about to be embarrassing for my soul, but I'm gonna take one for the team. I don't know if you could see. Oop, almost picked my nose. <laughs> my biggest problem area when it comes to pores is this general area. You're probably like, girl, I disagree. It's the whole area. It's your whole face, girl, but it's all right, girl. Don't shade me. Don't shade me. This side's gonna be Benefit Professional, this side is going to be the e.l.f. Face Poreless Face Primer Face Poreless Face Primer. So when I'm applying, ooh, I got a little too much. Okay, so when I'm applying this, I'm going in downward motions and I'm patting lightly, like I'm Kind of like hitting the skin if that makes sense. I'm just patting and I'm doing like a swiping downward motion I cannot explain anything I'm sorry if I'm confusing or I'm not making any sense but like me this is the side with the pores filled from the benefit professional and this side as you can see I still have all of these pores this is where the magic is gonna start to happen and I'm going to show you guys what the elf poreless face primer can do and it is actually six dollars so let's see how a six dollar primer holds up to a $36 primer. As you can see, the like the color is different. This is actually just like white clear color and the Benefit Professional was actually flesh toned. So again, we are going to be swiping, patting, pushing into the pores. All right, so this is the side with the Benefit Professional and this is the side with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. As you can tell, they both did an incredible job of minimizing the pores and almost making them look non-existent. The Benefit Professional does claim to be oil-free, lightweight, translucent, and silky, which I do agree with. This is not oily at all. It does not feel greasy. When it comes to the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, it does definitely feel like... Sir, I'm trying to film the sir up in the sky flying around my house. It's cool. I'll wait. We're on your time, boo. Like, I ain't got nothing to do. I don't got other videos to film. And The Benefit Professional does not feel greasy at all whatsoever. It's a very nice feeling silky but not greasy at all feeling. But the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer does unfortunately feel a bit greasy. I don't really think that it makes me too oily or that it like increases the oil that much. But when it comes to consistency, color, they aren't exactly the same. But the results that you're going to get from the $6 e.l.f. Primer is basically and is the same result that you would get from the $36 primer from Benefit. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I will show you guys what it looks like with makeup applied. I shall be right back. All right, so I am back and I have finished the rest of my makeup. So now the next step, I guess, is to pull you guys in again and show you guys a close up of the pores now that I have applied the rest of my makeup. So, un momento por favor, and I will uh, bring you guys in. If it's any caked anywhere or if it looks horrible, I'm testing a new foundation. So don't come for me, don't come for my life, don't come for my soul. So these are what the primers look like under your foundation. As you can see, it still looks really, really good. 
and I'm really impressed again in my opinion this is definitely a dupe I definitely recommend buying the elf coreless face primer if you cannot afford or you just don't think it's worth buying the professional in my opinion if you can afford it and you want to try it I definitely recommend getting the professional if you don't got time to be messing with no $36 but if you're like, girl, I ain't got time to be messing with no $36 face primer, then I definitely recommend, like I said, the e.l.f. one. Or if you're someone like me, then I recommend getting both of them. That way you can try them both for yourself. But again, that's why I'm doing this video, so you don't have to spend your money on the more expensive one if you don't want to. I, think, I feel like I'm repeating myself, so I guess that just brings us to the end of this video. And if you have any video requests, then please let me know if you guys want any more dupe videos like on certain products. Then maybe I can look around my collection and see if I can find any affordable dupes for any other products. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, and I will see you in the next one. Got a blast!